Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> got a little phone call here a while ago and I'm really nervous about this, but this is quick and I got to get this done quick. That's just the way it happens sometimes. So we had, uh, we kind of joked about doing some two pedal work, two pedal weld with the baby positioner and operating the foot pedal here. Well, it's no joke anymore because now I got to do it. I had one of my buddies call from Dallas. He's, he's got some uh, military parts he's wanting to bid on. And they're going to be chrome molly, small tubes. He wants a small fillet weld in here. I've, I've uh, duplicated the joint configuration and I'm going to try to hit like a 0.9 weld around here. It's got 0.120 uh, wall thickness on some tube. I know his parts are going to be machined. Uh, 4130 and I am going, I just sanded these and fit them up as close as possible. I know he's going to have a little tighter fit. His, his parts are always perfect and it makes me nervous to weld on them. But um, anyway, here we go. We're going to do a, we're going to do a rolly weld here on a small fillet and I've got to do this, shoot pictures of them and send him some stuff here and see if this is a, if, if we want to do this in a production run so we know how to bid this project on a on a, a government type deal so we'll see what i need to sharpen up i'm going to be using e3 tungsten i'm running off an everlast i have my machine set at 120 because i want to start out and kind of hit this thing and go a little quick and i'm going to be backing off the foot pedal some Again, I'm using two foot pedals. The foot pedal on the baby positioner also has a rheostat in it. So if I get in trouble and I'm, I think I'm going too fast, I can have the luxury of backing off. But I've done this before and it gets kind of confusing when you're floating two pedals here. So anyway, let me go sharpen up, get my gear on. I'll be right back. Well, I've run into trouble a couple times here and had to slow down with the left foot on the positioner. And try to match that with an increase of amperage on the other foot. Got a little confusing there. <clears throat> I believe that's close to what we want. I think what I would, I'd like to try to do maybe, um, I think this is what he called for when I was talking to him on the phone. He wants this kind of cupped. He doesn't want a lot of buildup. So I'll have to get with him. Now we've got some subtle variations that we could study here, possibly do a pulse like about 10 pulses per second. And I don't know if I could get by with, you know, I think this will work better on his parts because there's no gap. I've got just a whisper of gap in here around my tubes and I, you know, I know he's going to have a couple of thousands only. So the 16th will probably be better. I was thinking maybe I could run the 332 wire in there and pulse it and make it jitter and get that nice, good, wet, build up so I have to try this a couple of times again it's kind of a game uh, messing with the foot pedals getting the two consistent so we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll study this some more again just wanted to give you a little quickie on you know operating the two pedals at once it's kind of a trip so some of you've laughed about it and we've commented back and forth and I appreciate the comments they are kind of funny uh, you know, got a good support, got a good fan base, and uh, I'm humbled by it. So keep, keep sending the comments. We like it a lot. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat with Cali College. Thank you.
Come on, my ass is getting tired here. This is hard on the ass running two pedals.